immediately change your character's gender. I have been a loyal follower of your page for almost a year and have been under the impression that your character, specifically the rabbit, was a female. However, recent revelations have forced me to come into the open and make this account to commune with you. Witness my account. Upon seeing the gifts you have purchased for your boyfriend, an imperial pox on oneself for not reading context, like with Mandy, I realized that you were a homophile, which would in turn mean that your rabbit character is a male. I am incredibly displeased at this fact. First most, Vor is generally known as a female exclusive power. Female predators make up a large amount of all predator characters, thus my assumption. Secondly, I have spent a grand time using your images for the sake of oneristic practices, and I am feeling extraordinary shame for having practiced onerism not only to someone of my male gender, but also to the art of a homophile. Third most, your character in yourself is known in my view now as an outlier, something strange that must be corrected with imperative. Therefore, I am commanding you to change the gender of your character to female. I realize this command is one that you, as a homophile, with limited reasoning skills, may not understand. Therefore, I shall present my reasons as to why you should do this. Firstly, it shall put out one of your most loyal watchers' fears, doubts, and turning night terrors to absolute rest. Secondly, your works would get significantly more views, as the audience for homophile and male predators is exceedingly dim and tiny. Thirdly, it would help us to establish Vor as a female exclusive power to your watchers, many of whom I now suspect to be nothing more than homophile, communist infiltrators. This would turn tides not only in the fandom, but in the world, as more people turn to the right side. The right side. Consider my petition wisely, Lagomorph. I have an exceedingly sharp wit, and if you do not take this request lightly, then I shall be forced to debate you on this matter. And believe me, you do not want to debate me. I am unparalleled in intellect, reasoning, and wit, and have not been mind-changed on a point once, either by my kin or by people of the communist side. Tick tock. Sorry dude, I can't draw myself a female form. The last time I tried coloring in the lines, I broke my wrist. Also, who is Mandy? I am incredibly disappointed in you. Not only have you broadcast this note of personal confidence to the world at large, not only have you put me out at my utterly weakest, but you treat me with such flippant disregard that you cannot even muster an intellectual reply to me. I deserve much better. An acquaintance of mine showed me the correspondence between us that you had besmirched to an account dedicated to creepy, crazy, and bizarre furry messages. Is this how you treat your following? The people who look up to you and give you nothing but paternal, wise advice? You think they are creepy, crazy, and bizarre? Abomination. You are an abomination to a high degree. You aren't an artist. You yourself admitting that you broke your wrist coloring, which is an unbelievably feat of weakness on your part. You are merely an art harlot who scrounges for requests and other unscrupulous methods of acquiring art. You are not an author, your reply being less than 20 words. If anything, you are creepy, crazy, and bizarre. Creepy. You share extremely personal notes, wherein someone bears their soul to you at their utmost weakness, pleading and innocence. Crazy. Homophilia. Need I say more? Invertebrae. Bizarre. I do not even like your rabbit character. They look to be a squirrel. And as for your question about Mandy, they were a female that I adored but I could not read subtext in their words, and realized much too late when I confessed to her, in the view of a large gathering, that she was a sapphic homophile, a pain which has struck me forever since. 
You have disgraced yourself in front of me, but in my mercy, I shall grant you a single chance. Either change the gender of your fursona, or I shall sally forth into debating you. You shall not change my mind, may I remind you? I am giving you 72 hours. The clock has been set. The Rubicon is crossed. Alea iacta est, Lepus. Get fucked. Lol, it's been more than three days. Are you gonna show up at my door or something? I have given you a considerable berth to prepare for this debate. As you have a diminished mind, I realize in hind of sight that you would need treble the time to prepare. It is obvious by your behavior on Twitter.com that you do not intend to alter your character's gender. I would claim to be disappointed, but that is an expression of sadness. In this moment, I have absolute authority over you, and I am incredibly jubilant due to that. I have seen your character's female form in one of my prophetic dreams. Although only a singular snapshot, I know strongly that this debate will be in my favor. Regardless, I shall allow you to make the first blow here, as I am the challenger. Thus is the courtesy of a preeminent sovereign. Okay, gone assume you're asking for me this questions. Why do you not like gays? And why am I a communist for being gays? First blow of the first. Homophiles are not natural. No action they take results in life begat. Only life withdrawn. They can claim a descendant as their own, but there is no motility for the descendant. You simply do not contribute in any form numerically, and are a walking abortive in my regards. I know you will not grasp why this is bad, so allow me to expositate how. A man, though you are far from one, one owes allegiance to three authorities, hearth, home, and heritage. Your hearth is your family, which you shall never have. Descendants, which you shall never have, ones of relation, whom are tragically ashamed, and a consort, lapping whore of whores, who takes the name of the greatest conqueror for ilk. By owing them, you assist in continuing your name in prestige. Your home is your stead, where you consort and descendants reside. They must be kept in continuation of your blood. Your heritage is your ancestors and your nation, the great conquerors, imperators, and statesmen who sallied into the vista of unknown to bring you the land wherein your hearth and home can put down roots. Your roots are imponderable. I, for one, can trace my lineage back to the great Julius Caesar, a man of amazing debation and ability. I do wonder where I gain my abilities from, haha. <laughs> you must serve all three without question, as otherwise societal norms would rot and miasmize. A homophile can serve neither of these three, and can thus only destroy. Second blow of the first, you demand too much and attempt to claim authority. The anum preceding this, I had the ruination of beholding what you term a pride parade from my balustrade. I desire to spew, seeing such wanton celebration of ancestral and heritage destruction, smiling expressions from people of my hearth, and heritage in seeing this, accepting it as an oceanic wave of cultural destruction. Homophiles do not need a celebration. In my opinion, we should prostrate to architecture and reverence for our ancestry and formidable conquerors who spread their cultural and heritage wide. Only blow of the second, 
Communism is a toxic ideologue which serves to only destroy culture and heritage, seeking to become the only authority in a man's life. This cannot be, as as one has seen before, Communism has destroyed the heritage of the mightiest Russian bear, casting down the heritage of the incredible Tsar. The nation was sinewy beforehand, with dedication to all three authorities beforehand. And then, it fell. Homophilia and communism seek the same goal, and thus are inseparable to me. In my charge is Caesar's eagle, two-headed in its prime. All you say is false and lurid lie. I care not for your lies as they are detritus. I have utterly come to the conclusion you cannot be changed, and thus are damned to forever wallow, 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 like a shout forevermore. You disgust me to the highest damned level that I have even let forth bellows in person, ones which attracted attention. I am a conqueror. I am intelligentsia. You are neither. You have no blood of kings in your veins, only crap dirt born from rats. Why do you want to destroy Western civilization? I shall tell you why. You desire to be straight. You hate yourself and your ancestors because your hate for yourself is being misdirected into greatness. I bellow loudly as I type this, drawing masses of attention. Although it brings me shame from my home, I know I do this for a greater purpose. Be straight! Remove yourself from your concert! Be straight! Remove yourself from your concert! It is wrongful! It is wrongful! Bring your culture back! Bring your heritage back! <laughs>